Hi friends, it's Kathleen, and last week I went all the way to California to go thrifting. Okay, I went all the way to California to do some work stuff and to see some friends, but I also went thrifting. So let's take a trip in my handy dandy time machine and I'll show you how it went and also what I got. Let's go. I think it's pretty clear where my priorities lie when I say that I came straight from the airport to the thrift store. That doesn't look like a thrift store. So I would like to invite you and my luggage to go thrifting. Let's go. Okay, while I look at dresses, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this thrift store. Now this is not my favorite thrift store in San Jose, but I love this place because this whole shopping complex is perfect for a date night first. You hit up the thrift store. Second, you go get sushi. Third, you go see a movie. There's also bubble tea. Win-win. Gus and I actually bought a couch here when we lived in San Jose and we still have it in Ohio. You may have seen Kashi sleeping on it because it is his favorite. Ooh, sequence. Here's a cute little free people number. It's always hard to tell if free people it's a dress or a shirt, but let's try it. I like the flowers. Ooh, what is this? Look at those little flowers. Aww. How cute is this vintage Junior's dress, that bow? And it has an awesome little vintage tag. Wow. Oh, I do love a casual spiral. All right, I'm in the short sleeve tops right now. I figure they have a lot since it is more short sleeve season and being in California just paid off. A little Lisa says ga top. Why do I love these? Whoa. I don't know, I just have a thing for like very girly shoes right now. I think they're gonna be too big, but let's try them. Hmm, they are a little big and they'd probably look a lot cuter, you know, without socks. Oh my gosh. Would I commit a crime to make these fit my feet? I might, I just might. Okay, now I'm looking at pants and if I can be honest with you, I'm so full of sushi right now. I don't know if pants will be a good idea. No pants, but I did find a super tiny little vintage beret. Yeah, I'm gonna get this. There's gotta be a baby in my life that can wear that. I used to be so into free people that I knew. I knew this was free people just walking by it. Boom, she still got it. Wow. This whole table with four chairs, 35 bucks. Look at this thing. I'm so tired, but here's the first dress. Too big, like I kind of suspected, but I do like these little Zara flats. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but they're really light purple. And I love that high vamp. I don't think they're too big. They're just a little loose because I have skeleton feet. So my current dilemma is that the things that I'm trying on either don't fit or they're just like not special. They don't really feel like a souvenir except for these little Zara slippers. So they might be the only thing I get. I don't know. It's a mystery to you and to me. Turn of events. This is cute and it's also shorts. Okay, I know this is pajamas, but like, I would just wear this, my lady. I, think I just remember that I didn't bring a bag with me, like a purse, something to hold my stuff during the day. Uh, maybe I should get one. I do like this guy. Feels very San Francisco. Cool color, I like the utility strap. Green interior, I mean orange. What? What time is it? What day is it? What color is this? All right, let's finish this trip with me with a hat try on. I think it kind of suits me. Hmm. Babies and gentlemen, I'm back. Oh, it feels good to be home. Although the California sunshine really knows how to have a good time. Ohio, you could learn a thing or two 
just saying. So this thrift trip ended up being really utilitarian because I only needed two things and those are the two things I got. One, I only brought one pair of shoes with me for the whole trip, so I knew I needed another pair of shoes, which I got. And two, I forgot to bring any sort of satchel or purse or cod piece to carry my various daily accoutrements, so I also got a bag. However, this video is truly a love letter to these simple leather lavender flats. They're part ballet flat, part jazz shoe, and they also kind of feel like the slippers that a court jester or harlequin would wear to prance around in, so more on that later. In any case, I'm into it, and I really wanted to show you how you can style such a simple pair of shoes in very different ways. So we're gonna look at three different styles and let's just get into it, roll the clip. We'll start with a very on-trend look. This is what I like to call my normie costume. Not too weird, classic, with a hint of effortless cool girl. When you dissect this look, it's really simple. It's just a jacket, sweater, jeans, and flats. However, depending on the individual pieces you choose, you can end up with something very Pinterest worthy. Next, we're gonna go for more of an East Coast, old money art curator vibe. I really wanted to pair these flats with some drapey slacks and just kind of continue to add creamy layers from there. The sweater vest and the turtleneck really add some snobbery, but the more artsy flats and the bag bring in the fun. I really like this outfit all layered up and more simple with just the sweater slacks and flats. Whoa, that was not easy to say. And finally, we enter court jester clown court territory, my dark and twisted home. I think whether you'd wear this outfit or not, or whether you like it or not, we can all agree that this outfit is fun. I love the statement shorts mixed with the satiny hues of the blouse and the cropped blazer. And this look leans a little bit more editorial, but I mean, I'd wear it on the day to day too. I'm like a lizard basking on a stone. What'd you think of my outfits? I know they were all bangers, but let me know down in the comments if you had a favorite. I really like the costumey vibe of the clown core outfit, of course I did, but I also feel very sophisticated and cool in the all beige ensemble. Next week, I'll be posting my second California thrift with me video. This time we're gonna be going to my absolute favorite thrift store in San Francisco, and I did not hold back. It was at the end of the trip, I had room in my suitcase, so. Things get a little wild and I did pick something out for one of you, so make sure you watch next week for a little giveaway. If you'd like to be notified when that video goes live or any future video, then please feel free to also subscribe if you'd like. And you can keep up with me on Instagram at Kathleen Illustrated too. I'm everywhere. Catch the wave. Finally, thank you everyone who checked out the collab last week with Beep World. If you haven't watched yet, now would be a good time to do so, but I just really appreciate all the love. Speaking of love, I love you. It's time for me to go. Okay. Bye. Dee.